What are you doing? You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. We're back. Hey, huge shout out to Danny. Got all my trash boxed up, left out for him. He swung through this morning, does trash in Carlisle. So if you watch and you're in Carlisle, Dan Morin, I could send some contact information, but. So he's gonna pick up any trash, which that was the part of the idea of, hey, I got all these trash bags. We got a trash can. We might as well keep this place halfway decent. But yeah, we gotta clean up the edge so we just don't rip it. But alrighty, let's dive back into wiring on this Mack truck. I stopped last night because one, it was dark. Two, I was getting frustrated um, and I had to look it up. But let's go over what we're doing. So on this truck, converting it from positive ground to negative ground so that it can work so it can be identical to other trucks I have. There's no point in having multiple trucks with multiple different wiring setups when you can take a trailer off, stuff like that. So having an electrical supply on the trailer or electrical component on the trailer, such as that pump, that is grounded negatively to the trailer would not work with a truck that is positively grounded on the truck. Just doesn't work. So might as well convert it. I know there's benefits of having positively grounded uh positive ground um as far as rough side of it but otherwise yeah having the 24 volt starter i'm not worried yet if we have an issue it's easy enough to switch all that stuff out make it all 12 volt but the starter's working no point in messing with that right now but we got our cut kill switch so we rewired everything that looks good this is our trailer wire don't mind it looks like a mess we got to put the tank on and then we really clean all this up as far as the hydraulic tank so where we left off last night oh well actually where we left off last night kill switches so we got to do that up a little bit better how the bracket i wanted to run it to there but I messed up on my measuring. That was my bad. Oh, my fault. So, here we are. We got vaulted, which is good. So, it's not charged all the way. And I don't like how it... Well, oh, it's because it's opened up in the back. So we gotta put a light back in there. But, pulled the fuel gauge, because we gotta figure out what goes where. So, my issue that I was having yesterday they took these plastic ones and they moved them so that they weren't touching, which make it makes sense. So the positive one wasn't grounded on the frame. So my issue was when I switched this around, I was connecting positive to a grounded unit. Now we got it figured out. So we got to do that, switch the fan motor, which was easy enough. And I think my pyro needs to be switched. I believe, I don't know. It's not working now, so. I got my wiring popped out, but other than that, that should be, that should be it. Blinkers still work. Yeah, lights still work, which is normal, but fuel gauge, which usually Mac fuel gauge doesn't work anyways, but I like to have them work because it's always awkward when you run out of fuel. Now it's raining outside, so good thing we're inside today. Appreciate you guys watching along, but let's get uh, this figured out. I'll be honest, I did not know it was gonna actually rain today, and it is actually, going to rain today for a little bit I don't know where Yanko is either but he'll be soaking wet by the time he gets done big shout out to this hoop building Whew. when I was so when I was putting it up when I was struggling with it I was like I sure hope this is worth it 100% been worth it it ain't perfect but we got to pull some slack out of the roof yeah it's just 
sagged a little bit, which is normal. It says that, but it's wild. If uh, if I was doing this in the driveway still, like I've done every year past, either we'd be really wet or we wouldn't be doing this. So, but we got to get this figured out so that this truck can be done, ready to party. It's close. We're gaining. Maybe my fuel gauge was never working. I don't know. I thought it worked. Um, I guess we gotta get a stick. See, <laughs> those wires are all just rubbed off and touching each other. So, yeah, maybe it wasn't ever working. Tapped them with a the hammer, then to the screwdriver, and that actually was coming out, which is cool. Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, look at this. That might be some of my issue. <laughs> uh, I am really surprised that I even was able to get any of these out. I thought we were going to battle all day with it. This is probably my issue. Because it sends voltage down to it. and well, As you see... <laughs> Everything is junk. So I'll get this cleaned up. Put new ends on it. Oh yeah. So there's your ground wire. It's in two pieces. Or previously it wasn't a ground wire. I ended up cutting it because there's a clamp that you need two people to get it out. All the wires run through it so I just cut one, one side of it. This line's junk anyways, as you, as you all saw. So it's part of having a truck that was manufactured in 1974. But you get through this stuff, the wiring on this ain't nothing compared to a new truck. But that pulls up, goes through this loop then, goes up here. I think that one and that one. So let's take those off. Uh, I'd really like to go to find a two wire section. And then this end, you can see, is all chewed up too so put some new ends on which i do got a box of them we just need the wire yep heat shrink and all so throw those on we need to find some wire i don't think my egt gauge is bad at all you can unplug it reverse them right there i just don't think it's it's not getting hot enough the motor so which makes sense so we'll leave that but we got to get this wire so we'll go run get some of this wire hopefully we'll finish this up and we'll be done with this wiring job of life at least on well from here forward we still got to put the pump on which is going to lead our leads we still got these leads to go back and we got the connector ends on one side so plenty of things to do but we'll go uh get that wire and dive right into it it is absolutely pouring out now it's been pouring lightning what are you doing yep lightning but i went and got some two wire so there we go it's in white not ideal but it'll be okay run that down around back up and get our fuel gauge working right so we never run out of fuel we've only done that Okay, we've done it a few times, so, yeah. Trying to figure this out, I have been watching YouTube videos to understand a little bit more. Yes, I went to school for mechanics, but how many times do I mess with fuel pumps and or fuel sending units and wiring? So, I did, and I wish I had some clamps. I did check this over, and it's going to be a little more challenging with no hands. So I did check this over and it's got some spots in this as you move it where I get down here where was it right there so it says it's from what I've read if it says any spot has an issue, then it's bad. 
So as it moves around, so I'm thinking this is bad because everything else inside of here makes sense. It's all wired right. So it says it's full right now because it has no resistance going off the sending unit at all. So, because, well, it's not hooked up. But when it is hooked up, it still has no resistance. So. Mm, yeah. Alrighty. I'm going to get a sending unit, or, yeah, sending unit for the gauge ordered. I'm tired of battling this, but after that, the electrical up on the front side of this should all be good. We'll just do the trailer, and we'll keep it moving. So, appreciate you guys watching along. This is just a battle. Um, yeah, frustrating. I hate wiring. I just, I don't enjoy it. So, but appreciate it, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.